good afternoon. Failure to listen to families, failure to learn from clinical incidents and failure of multiple external bodies to act in improving maternity services over two decades. Well, Jeremy Hunt commissioned the inquiry which led to today's report when he was Secretary of State for Health and Social Care in 2017. He gave me his reaction to Donna Ockenden's findings. I think it's an absolutely shocking report. I actually met a couple of families and there were 23 families who were concerned about issues with their babies. What is also quite shocking is that it wouldn't have come about had it not been for two grieving families actually pushing for that. That can't be right, can it? I think it's very important to say though that nearly 600,000 babies are born every year. Now, Shropshire's not alone, of course, in facing recruitment problems with care staff. Joining me now is Professor Catherine Needham from the University of Birmingham, whose research covers social care and policy innovation. So uh, how pressing a problem is this vacancy gap in adult social care? Well, we know we've got a problem. We've got demand is growing. Uh, we've got demographic change. People are living longer, and that's something to celebrate. Uh, but the need for care is rising, um, and we just don't have people going into care work in the way that we'd hope, really. What do you think the, the problem is then? What's the, the big problem with uh, people not going into care? Well, it's a low wage sector. Um, people can do a very similar. Now, carers as young as 16 have been getting their COVID vaccinations at a special clinic in Sandwell this morning. It comes after young carers who look after parents or siblings said they were having trouble getting the vaccine. Well, earlier I spoke to Sandwell's Director of Public Health, Dr Lisa McNally, who explained why the clinic had been set up. It's really important for young carers to get their vaccine. The JCVI, which is the agency that advises the government on vaccines. Welcome to a very wet and cold Coventry City Centre. I'm joined now by Chief Superintendent Kenny Bell, who's going to tell us about the new safety campaign from West Midlands Police this festive period. So what exactly is the police going to be doing to make sure that people are safe over Christmas? Well, we're going to be working with the public and I'm asking for the public's help to um, ensure that they remain vigilant in, in, in light of the new increase in the threat level um, from terrorism. Um, I want people to go out and enjoy themselves. Now you've mentioned the threat level has been increased, it's been increased to severe. What does that mean for people in the Midlands? What, what it means is, as a definition is, is an attack is highly likely but that's, that's a kind of a national threat assessment. There's no specific intelligence relating to our region. Welcome to the 1930s here at the museum. But interestingly enough, what's going on behind is going to be incredible because they're going to be building an entirely new town based on the 1940s and the 1960s. Let's find out more with Andrew Lovett. Andrew, tell me more. Well, earlier I spoke to Sarah Wooten from the charity Dignity in Dying who gave me her reaction to his death. Hello, good afternoon. In the last few minutes, a Birmingham woman has been found guilty of the gross negligence manslaughter of her asthma-suffering seven-year-old son. Coventry Crown Court heard Hakim Hussein died alone and gasping for air in a garden in Neachels in November 2017. Laura Heath, who's 40, had denied manslaughter but admitted four counts of child cruelty. Our Phil Mackey joins us now from uh, outside the court. Phil, remind us of the background for this case. Hello, good afternoon. The Shrewsbury and Telford Hospital NHS Trust has admitted in court to three offences of failing to provide safe care after an inquiry into the deaths of two patients. In one case, 31-year-old Mohammed Ishmael Zaman died of severe blood loss while undergoing dialysis in 2019. While this lunchtime, the Trust was fined just over £1.3 million. Good afternoon. A couple from Solihull are being sentenced at Coventry Crown Court after being found guilty of killing Arthur Labinu Hughes. The six-year-old boy was tortured by Thomas Hughes and Emma Tustin, eventually dying of a head injury last June. Yesterday, Tustin was convicting of murder and Hughes found guilty of manslaughter. The pair were also convicted of child cruelty charges. Well, our reporter, Joanne Rittle, has been following the case. Joanne, what more can you tell us? Well, that sentencing hearing at Coventry Crown Court is underway right now. Arthur Labinio Hughes... Staffordshire Maudlands, for example. A chilly outlook, Nicola. OK, John, thank you. And in the past few minutes, Emma Tustin has been jailed for life with a minimum of 29 years for the murder of six-year-old Arthur Labinio Hughes. 
Arthur's father, Thomas Hughes, was sentenced to 21 years for manslaughter. That's all from us for now. Nick Owen will be here with more on that. And he'll be here at half past six with Midlands Today here on BBC One. I do hope you can join him if you can. But from everybody at the lunchtime team, have a good afternoon. Goodbye.